In today's video, we're going to look into another pre-processing method for machine learning, which is called normalization. Now, we use or we apply normalization on the values of each feature vector to bring them on a common scale. Uh, two of the most implemented normalization methods in scikit-learn are L1 and L2 normalization. L1 is about the least absolute deviations, and when we apply it on a data set, it ensures that the sum of absolute values is uh, equal to 1 for every row. Now L2 is about uh, the least squares, and as you might guess, it ensures that the sum of squares um, is equal to 1. Uh, we'll apply both of them uh, on our data in a minute. So out of these two, the one that's more robust is L1, because it's not sensitive or it's least affected by um, outliers in the data. And uh, outliers are often encountered in raw data sets. On the other hand, you would use L2 normalization when the outliers in the data are important in training your algorithms. So in short, L1 doesn't care about outliers, while L2 takes these outliers into consideration. Now, let's apply each of these onto our data. But first, let's look at our data. Okay, uh, and then we're going to apply each of them. So let's say data L1 is pre-processing, normalize our data and the norm is going to be L1. And the same thing for L2. So data, L2, pre-processing, normalize our data, and the norm is going to be L2. Now let's print the output. So print, let's say L1, normalized data, new line, data L1, and the same thing for L2, so print, and we're going to start with a new line here, L2 normalized, data, data L2. Okay, now shift enter to run this. So, um, as I said, for L1, if we sum the absolute values on each row, it should be equal to 1. So let's take the second row, for example, take the values and sum the absolutes. So the absolute values. So the sign doesn't matter. So it's equal. It's basically equal to 1. And for L2 normalization, uh, we've said that the sum of squares should be equal to 1. So let's say squared plus this one squared and plus this one squared. And that's the same thing, so it is equal to 1. Now, to reiterate what I said previously, first you would have to know the importance your outliers play in the training of the data. Will you ignore them or do you have to take them into consideration? Now, you need to answer these two questions before choosing either L1 or L2 normalization methods. Alright, that's it for this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.